Moose breaks the hearts of Impact Wrestling fans. Chelsea Green is negotiating with Impact Wrestling. New Japan Pro Wrestling legend Satoshi Kojima makes his Impact Wrestling debut this week. We have new tag team champions and Daniel Bryan is being teased to make an appearance at Slammiversary. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge, and we are the number one source for Impact Wrestling news and information for the Impact Wrestling fan. So if you don't subscribe to the Impact Lounge and you're an Impact Wrestling fan, you may want to consider hitting that subscribe button because we have lots of great content on here, lots of great interviews, great content. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you don't already subscribe to the Impact Wrestling Lounge. So let's get right into it. Move has broken the hearts of Impact Wrestling fans from all over the world. All over the world, Impact Wrestling fans' hearts were broken by Moose on Friday. It was first reported on multiple websites that Moose has signed a new contract with Impact Wrestling. This was coming from Dave Meltzer. Uh, he had indicated that Moose had in fact signed a new contract with Impact Wrestling and Impact Wrestling fans around the world rejoiced, especially me. I was very excited. I was very happy to hear this news. I, you know, I, I tweeted about it. I was so happy. This is something that Impact Wrestling needed to do, in my opinion. I, I felt that they could not let Moose go. He's their top star right now in Impact Wrestling. He's got a huge match coming up with Kenny Omega at Against All Odds. And I was just, I was just so ecstatic, so happy when I read that news. But then Moose, Moose broke our hearts. Moose broke our hearts by indicating that um, he retweeted uh, the news, the Wrestler Observer news that he had resigned with Impact Wrestling. And um, he posted his own tweet indicating that it was not true. And he tweeted out saying that if you want news, um, you should go to him and only him. So while we were rejoicing over the rejoicing and celebrating over the news that Impact Wrestling had, in fact, re-signed Moose. Moose uh, spoiled the party and broke our hearts. He broke our hearts, and um, he's uh, apparently he's only trying, they're only trying to sign him. So that was the news that came out afterwards, is that they're trying to sign him. Now, that's that's the news. Well, of course, they're trying to sign him. They, they would be ridiculous not to try to sign him. I mean, anybody could tell you that. That's not really big news. I mean, that's that's obvious news that they're trying to re-sign Moose. But um, Dave Meltzer, I wonder, he's going to put his big old foot in his mouth on that one, huh? He put his big giant foot, uh, as you know, in fact, Dave Meltzer deserves a fish stick sandwich for, for posing that, for, for giving out that, that news uh, that, that wasn't confirmed. I mean, I know Fightful, they, they posted that up and they said they were trying to confirm it and they only confirmed that, that Impact Wrestling was trying to sign him, not actually signed him. They, they, they were trying to sign him. But like I said, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that, that Impact Wrestling is trying to sign uh, Moose. But um, yeah, I was I was disappointed. I was disappointed when that happened. When I uh, when that news came out, that Moose said he has in fact he has not in fact signed with Impact Wrestling, and he was actually teasing earlier in the day that he's going to sign with NXT and possibly um, AEW. And uh, but um, hopefully they can work out a deal. Hopefully they can work out a deal. I I really they can't lose Moose. You know, I tell you, Friday was such an emotional <laughs> such an emotional roller coaster ride for us impact wrestling fans huh we were just just think about how happy we were and then it was just like taken it away taken away from us it's like um it's like uh, it's like um i'm starving right and somebody somebody gives me a fish stick sandwich and i'm about to take a bite and they just take it away and say no you can't have that sorry 
you know, that, that's, that's, that's what it felt like, but um, I'm still hoping I'm still, I still holding out hope that Moose does resign with impact wrestling. They, they can't let him go. They cannot let Moose go, man. I was kind of hoping that we would have seen something by now, but, uh, but um, again, against all odds might very well be his last match with impact wrestling. I hope it's not, but um, nah, you know, and when, when, when Meltzer and all the other um, websites indicated that he had signed a contract with impact wrestling, when they were reporting that news, I was thinking, Oh, right. We're going to see the main event at slam anniversary. Now moves against Kenny Omega is going to be like a no contest or something at against all odds. And, and Moose is going to, Regain, um, regain the title for Impact Wrestling at that Slammiversary, but um, that's fortunately uh, that that might not happen. <laughs> but uh, but let's 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 hold out hope. We'll keep our fingers crossed, please. The Impact Wrestling resigns Moose. They they they, they got to resign him. They got to resign Moose. Okay. Uh, speaking of um, Impact Wrestling negotiating with someone, uh, Chelsea Green has been reported as negotiating with Impact Wrestling. Chelsea Green, former Knockouts champion, um, released recently from the WWE. Um, apparently under negotiation right now with Impact Wrestling to make a return at Slammiversary, which, you know, yeah, I'm, I'd be all for that. I got no issue with that. No issue with that at all if Chelsea Green returns to Impact Wrestling. Now, I know Chelsea Green said she wants to go the Cody Rhodes route. So I don't really think she's going to sign a long-term deal with, with Impact Wrestling. I think she'll show up at Slammiversary and maybe be there for two, three months uh, to be uh, the next challenger for uh, Deanna Perrazzo and the Knockouts title. I think uh, that'll be just fine. And then she'll and then she'll work her way around to other promotions. That's how I feel she's going she's gonna to do it. I, I know she has expressed interest in working for Ring of Honor. Uh, she expressed interest in heading to Japan. Uh, and she had indicated that uh, she wants to take, like I said, the Cody Rhodes route. But Cody Rhodes, when he, was, um, when he left the WWE, he wrestled for uh, all different promotions. He wrestled for Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling. So he, he didn't sign with one promotion. He eventually did uh, sign with Ring of Honor exclusively. Um, so he could work with Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling because they had their working agreement. Uh, but that's the route she wants to go. And hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, but I do think we're going to see her at, at Slammiversary. I do think um, uh, Deanna Prazo, uh, whoever she's facing at Slammiversary, will, will successfully defend the knockouts title. And then Chelsea Green will come out, get in her face, and boom, the feud begins. The feud begins. The two- or three-month feud begins. But then again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You know, I, she may, maybe, she, maybe she'll decide that she wants uh, some stability and signs a long-term deal with Impact Wrestling. Uh, but, but from what I've been hearing from her, it doesn't seem that's the route she's going to go. Um, but um, I do expect to see her at Slammiversary. I do expect to see Chelsea Green at Slammiversary. And again, I have no issue with that at all. Big Chelsea Green fan, uh, former Knockouts champion. She did a great job when she was Impact Wrestling. Um, the first uh, go round. love to see her back. Uh, speaking of Slammiversary, Impact Wrestling is teasing Daniel Bryan. Okay, they're, they're teasing a lot, teasing a lot of, uh, teasing a lot of uh, wrestlers, um, but they're teasing Daniel Bryan. <sighs> I, I I don't think there's any chance, and I, I'm not being. I don't want to be negative, and, and I don't want to uh, get anybody upset. But I think there's zero chance of Daniel Bryan appearing at Slammiversary. And I'm not the biggest fan of of teasing something and not coming through, and not um, coming through for the fans on it. You know what I mean? I know they're teasing a lot of wrestlers. You know, I, I, they're teasing Kazuchika Okada from New Japan Pro Wrestling, their top star. Um, they're teasing Samoa Joe. They're teasing the Iconics. You know, it's there's more of a, you know, Samoa Joe, Iconics. Uh, that's possible. That's possible. That we'll see. I don't think Okada, but but let's go back to Dan Bryan. They're, they're just, I, I don't want them. I don't, I'm not a fan of getting people's hopes up. And then um, it doesn't happen. That's, that's. Because Daniel Bryan is not coming to Impact Wrestling. I know Daniel Bryan had indicated that uh, he liked to wrestle for other promotions, uh, but he mentioned specifically New Japan Pro Wrestling. He mentioned specifically AEW, uh, Kenny Omega. Uh, so I don't, I don't think there's any chance at all. Not nothing. I know there's no chance at all that Daniel Bryan shows up at Slammiversary. I'm sorry. That's just, that's how I feel. And if I'm wrong and he shows up at Slammiversary, I will definitely, what I'll do, this is what I'll do. This is what I'll do. 
okay? Because I always use, a, I, I use the term fish stick sandwich um, quite a bit in the past. If Daniel Bryan shows up at Impact Wrestling at Slammiversary, uh, Slammiversary, I will make myself a fish stick sandwich and I will eat it right here on Shooting Up North, okay? I will eat a fish stick sandwich if Daniel Bryan shows up at Slammiversary. So remember that. Remember that. We'll, we'll, uh, that I promise. I promise. I, I, because I will have earned that fish stick sandwich if Daniel Bryan shows up at Slammiversary. But again, I think there's zero chance that uh, Daniel Bryan shows up at Slammiversary. We have a huge debut coming up. Another New Japan Pro Wrestling star, New Japan Pro Wrestling legend, will be making his debut on the next episode of Impact Wrestling. New Japan pro wrestling legend Satoshi Kojima will be making his debut for Impact Wrestling. And this is going to be so amazing. Satoshi, Satoshi Kojima is such a great, great, great professional wrestler. He's just an absolute legend. He's the first man to simultaneously hold the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, which is New Japan Pro Wrestling's uh, championship, and All Japan Pro Wrestling's Triple Crown Championship, which is All Japan's top title. He held them simultaneously. That's like somebody holding the WWF title and the AEW title simultaneously. You know, that's, that's the level that's on, you know, and, and S Satoshi Kojima held them both simultaneously. First man to ever do that. And he's just an absolute legend. He's held the IWGP tag team titles a number of times. Um, he's just terrific, terrific, terrific wrestler. And I'm very, very excited that we're going to see him in, in um, Impact Wrestling um, this Thursday. He makes his debut. They don't indicate who his opponent's going to be. So I'm guessing it's going to be Sam Beal or VSK because I think if it was an opponent worth noting, I think they would have they would have noted it. Um, but uh, I would love to see Kojima against Joe Doring. I think that would be absolutely a tremendous match. Kojima against Josh Alexander would be absolutely insanely awesome. Um, Kojima against Moose would be great, but um, I don't know. Uh, Moose has got his hands full right now with Kenny Omega, and who knows if he'll be back. Uh, for Impact Wrestling. Uh, he broke our hearts. He broke our hearts. Funny, I was gay. <laughs> yeah, he has a chance to, he has a chance to, um, to, um, to uh, mend a broken heart as well. But uh, we, we spoke about Moose already. I'm not going to go into Moose anymore. But Kojima, um, just, just an incredible talent. Awesome, awesome talent. So excited that he's going to be debuting for Impact Wrestling. And, um, I know people might not know who he is, but um, do some research. Instead of uh, going online and typing who, do, do a little research. Uh, he's an absolute legend, and I uh, can't wait to see his debut. Again, I'm guessing it's going to be against Sam Beal of VSK. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I, I would expect he's going to be around for a few weeks. Um, I'm thinking he's going to... First match against Sam Beal, VSK, and maybe somebody will come out and uh, challenge him to a match. I would, like I said, I would love to see him against Joe Doring or um, or Josh Alexander. I think that would be those matches would be absolutely incredible. Would be absolutely incredible. So we'll see uh, the plans. Um, see what plans that Impact Wrestling has for Satoshi Kojima. Uh, but uh, just be excited. Trust me. Trust me on this. Just be excited about the debut of Satoshi Kojima in Impact Wrestling. And speaking of New Japan Pro Wrestling, Finn Juice. Uh, apparently, they are no longer part of Impact Wrestling's creative plans for the time being. Uh, Finn Juice, Juice Robinson, Dave Finley dropped the titles to Mench Guy. Just mentioned Joe Doring and Rhino on the last episode of Impact Wrestling. Um, Rhino um, called his shot and. Um, Violent by design um, came to the ring, and Rhino. Uh, actually, let's let's just take a step back for a second. Finn Juice had defeated Ace Austin and Madman Fulton to successfully defend their titles. Violent by design, um, they came out after the match was over. Rhino called his shots, chose jo Joe Doring as his partner, and Rhino and Joe Doring defeated Finn Juice uh, to win the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Titles. And Finn Juice no longer with Impact Wrestling for now, but they did say that they will be back in Impact Wrestling sooner rather than later. Uh, but right now, Rhino and Joe Doring are the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions, and they are quite a duo, quite a duo. And uh, um, I think them against the Good Brothers would be a great match. 
Uh, I would imagine that the Good Brothers would try to get their tag team titles back. Uh, I personally was, I thought this this was fantastic. I originally thought Madman Fulton and Ace Austin were going to win the tag team titles. And when they didn't, I was like, okay, Finn Juice, still the, t- still the tag team champions. And then when Violent by Design came out and Rhino called his shot, and I'll be honest, I forgot all about the call your shot thing uh, that Rhino had, the trophy. He had won that match some time ago. Completely forgot about that. So it caught me by surprise. And I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was well done. And uh, Rhino and Joe Doring, new tag team champions and... Man, I, that, that's a terrific tag team right there. Joe Doring nearly took Juice Robinson's head off with that clothesline. Um, if you saw it, man, wow. Joe Doring is just an incredible, incredible talent. And they really need to utilize him a lot more because he's just fantastic. And I, I thought Juice Robinson's head was going to just fly off. And and I was going to well, was gonna say fly into the crowd, but there's no crowd. But fly, in, fly through the empty arena and hit the wall and, and fall to the floor. <laughs> But that was one hell of a clothesline he hit um and um hit Juice Robinson with. Uh but um yeah, it's great. Um I you know, the only the only thing that I'm a little disappointed in is uh Juice Robinson they Philly. You know, I yeah, yeah, in the back of my mind, I know they're headed back to Japan to New Japan Pro Wrestling. In the back of my mind, I kind of wish they held on to the titles because I wanted to see like a tag team, like the Good Brothers or another tag team, even like Ace Austin and Madman Fulton head on over to New Japan Pro Wrestling and chase them in New Japan Pro Wrestling for the Impact Wrestling titles. I thought I was thinking that that would have been really cool, uh, but um. Just as cool was as was Rhino and Joe Doring winning the titles. I thought it was really well done, and um, Impact Wrestling did a great job with it. And um, and that's it. And that's it. On that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening to me today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye, and stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.